Hello, welcome to Browse here on Kafaro.tv. My name is Angela Mirembe, your host, and today I have Angela Tugume from Nita Uganda, and she's a risk analyst. You're welcome, Angela. Thank you very much, Angela. So, what we're going to start with, uh, we've all heard Nita U, Nita U, Nita Uganda. <laughs> Please, could you tell us what Nita Uganda is or what they do? Oh, sure. So, the National Information Technology Authority, okay. Uganda, that's what Nita stands for. Mm -hmm. So, we are an autonomous body. Mm -hmm statutory body um, that was established under the NITA-U Act 2009. Okay. Now we coordinate and regulate information technology services in Uganda. So we are under the general supervision of the Ministry of National Gui ICT okay. and National Guidance. Okay, yes. so people might be wondering why do I have someone here from NITA-U, but today we're going to talk about a very, very important subject and that is child online safety. We at Kafaro Foundation advocate for digital, you know, digital skilling all the way up there. But then we have also come to recognize that this is something that has to be backed up with protection mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because younger people are getting onto online and we're a pretty young nation. So we're going to talk about how we can protect our children from being bullied, uh, predators, pedophil mm -hmm. uh, pedophilias rising. So how does NITA come into this picture of trying to protect the children? Um, truly said, uh, the internet is actually has affected the way we do life, right. uh, the way we communicate, mm -hmm. the way we interact. So uh, we find that every sphere of our life is actually being, you know, affected by how the internet works. Yeah, now, um, in an, as much as, um, and to make it uh, better or worse, our children are first adopting, yes. you know, to the usage of this internet. And we say, yeah, the internet is good. We mm -hmm. can use it for studying, we can use it for research, okay, innovation, yeah. um, cooking. Yes, cooking lessons. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so we, we learn a lot mm. uh, with the internet, but then there's also the other side. Right. There's the bad guys out there on the internet. Absolutely. And um, why children, uh, the children are more vulnerable. Mm. In, in society, basically, right. children are more vulnerable. And so it is in the cyber world, children are more vulnerable in the, in the cyber space. And so we're looking at um, how do we protect children? How do we keep them safe online yeah. uh, from the predators, like you said, yes. from the cyber bullies, mm -hmm. from the stalkers, from those that just befriend them because they want to, you know, harm them in one way mm -hmm. or another. So, um, what is NETA you doing? Yes, what are you doing? Um, what are we doing? So first of all, we have the cyber laws. Okay. Um, the Computer Misuse Act of 2011 does actually talk about uh, child pornography, talks about uh, cyber stalking, uh, cyber bullying, and also um, spe speculate, um, um, oh, what is this English word? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, there, there is, um, there's a fine for um, doing any of those things. Uh, so, so the children are also taken care of okay. uh, on the law, in, in the law, in the Computer Misuse Act. Okay. Um, then uh, there is a child online protection group mm -hmm. uh, under the Ministry of Internet Affairs okay. that, that works to raise awareness right. about internet usage and children and the young people, mm -hmm. children and young people. So um, it's, it's a group of various stakeholders. Yes from the Ministry of Internal Affairs, mm -hmm. gender, and yeah. So we work to raise awareness in, in schools, uh, parents, children, what, what should teachers do, what should children do, what should parents do to protect their children online. Yeah. Yes, and there's so, we're doing quite a bit. <laughs> I want to go into, mm. you talked about cyberbullying, mm. um, predators. Can you break that down? Because someone might be like, what is cyberbullying? Oh. What are predators? So what could are you, predators? Yeah, could you actually give like an example of what would what it would mean to have mm -hmm. to, to be cyber bullied, to be okay. you know to have a predator? Can you paint a picture for a parent who might not know those terms mm -hmm. and just let them know what they mean? Okay. Yeah. Um. Uh. Just before I get into that, right. uh, as part of this whole initiative, we have a, a child online toolkit that okay. is actually on the NITA website. Okay. Uh, we've partnered with ISOC. So you can also find the same toolkit uh, mm -hmm. on the ISOC website. So it will it gets into detail of what is what should parents do, what should teachers do, mm -hmm. uh, if you need more details. But then I'll just um, break it down. Uh, cyber bullying mm -hmm. is um, loosely translated. It's um, it's the normal bullying in in the cyber space. So you have um, you have a child sending you someone sending you texts 
take stuff that test exactly. or you put up your picture and they're like oh my god you have you look so ugly mm. what happened to your hair okay. so what basically happens in the real world is translated into the cyber world okay so the, the um so it's um, non-physical but it's they're not, just yeah yeah the yeah exactly thank okay. you so much yeah so it's online and you're just being used to bully and then the predators um you have a grown person mm -hmm. uh, pretending to be a child right. uh, so they'll put up a profile picture of a 14 year old mm. and befriend a 13 year yes. old or an 11 year old and and basically you know on like groom them mm -hmm. into building trust into building a relationship with that right. child and then eventually lure them um, away from the safety wow. or you know of, of their of their homes and right. then the fact that uh, we see these vices mm -hmm. invading the very safe places of children right. uh, because you think it's the child is in their bedroom mm -hmm. that's supposed to be a safe yes. place but no the cyber bully is with them in their bedroom mm -hmm. and you know and, and and then also kids will feel uh, if they've been uh, bullied they'll think they can this is something they cannot turn away from right. uh, because it's 24 7 yeah. you know as long as a child is online so is the bully so if I was a parent today mm -hmm. and I wanted to go out and buy a smartphone for my child, mm -hmm. what are some of the tips you'd tell me to let them know about before I hand the smartphone over? To your child? Yes. Um, um, basically, the same thing you do if you bought a very nice car or toy and handed it over to your child mm -hmm. is teach them how to use it. Mm -hmm. uh, how best can they use it? How do they protect themselves mm -hmm. while using it? And then... Um, if, uh, if it's a phone, of course, things like passwords, mm. um, very strong passwords, nice. but it's a child. So you teach them how to use the privacy settings okay. um, on social media mm. as well. And then also teach them about the dangers of, of being on the internet. Right. Um, you can set times when they should use, when they should be on the internet, mm, yeah. Yes. Um, specific times, just like you said, specific times for TV. So it's basically con confiscating the phone after <laughs> a certain time because I don't know if you can really tell someone mm. you have two hours of the phone. But I guess, you yeah. know, um, at this age, even four-year-olds have phones. Yeah, so yes. also looking at the age bracket, mm. um, at the age bracket, some you'll need to restrict um, their usage of not just the phone, but also of the internet as well. Mm. Yes. Yeah, so, and then also making it, um, letting them know that mm. if there's anything that they're uncomfortable with, right. they can actually let you know. If anyone is sending them texts or messages that make them feel uneasy right. and comfortable if they're being shown images mm -hmm. that are you know not child appropriate right. then they should also report that okay. as well yeah so basically just um telling them about the good and the bad okay. yeah so angie tell me so with all this work being done is mm -hmm. nita you actually partnering up with any organizations because oh. for nita you and the ministry to take care of about 38 million Ugandans. Mm. Are um, you partnering with anyone? We're actually part of um, of a bigger effort, you okay. know, to protect our children online. Um, and we partner with um, there's a child online protection group okay. um, that is uh, that is running under the Ministry of Internal Affairs, and it's running with various stakeholders mm -hmm. from the Ministry of Gender okay. uh, to NITA U okay. and very many other partners including ISOC right. and so what the group does is to actually raise awareness mm -hmm. of how to keep our young people safer on the internet so we we'll go to schools, okay. talk to teachers, talk to parents mm. and yeah, basically bring awareness in and and see how we can actually keep the internet safer for our young people. Okay. Yes, and then also we partnered with Internet Society of Uganda okay. and um, developed a toolkit, an online toolkit mm. on how parents, teachers, and children can actually protect um, themselves online, mm -hmm. but especially the teachers and the parents helping the children, okay. you know, protect themselves yeah. online. So you can find this toolkit on the NITA website and also on the ISOC website. Okay, yeah. great. Uh, you briefly mentioned something about global efforts. Do you want to dive deeper into that? Oh, yes. Now, child online protection, protecting our children online mm -hmm. is actually a global challenge. Yes. So we can't, no country can do it alone. Yes. Yeah, so it's, it's a very big global challenge. And so what we do as a nation, part of our initiative is actually to partner with the Internet Watch Foundation. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, we have a reporting portal. Okay. And now you report uh, images uh, of children that are uh, being abused, mm. sexual images, 
um, child pornography images, videos, uh, report them on this portal yes. and then uh, are taken down the internet watch foundation works in partnership with the police okay. and then these images are taken down wherever they are mm -hmm. uh, on the internet globally why with uh, the children who have been rescued yes. yeah, from the abuse but the images are still out there yes, so true. that continues the trauma yeah. each time a child looks and at I that image and I think it's also important when these children are getting the phones they have to realize that they're living in an age where they cannot delete anything exactly so yeah. if they if they decide to you know put out some information out there they should grow up knowing that 30 years later it will come back to, to bite exactly. them exactly yes. yeah so we're saying uh, mind your digital footprint right. yeah so what you post online what you put online you know may always stay there for you so so okay. this is to if you see an image of a child mm. and we report these images okay. and then they are taken down completely oh, okay. yeah so you can report it on the NITA website, right. on our website. You okay. can actually access the link from there and just report the image and give us the link and yeah, it's taken down. Uh, and then there's Safer Internet Day, which I really was not aware exists. Would you want to tell oh, us more about Safer oh, Internet Day? Okay. Cool. So part of the global efforts right. really is um, that Safer Internet Day. Mm -hmm. So every year, 6th of Feb, right. um, there's this whole global effort in about mm -hmm. 130 countries. Wow you know, to raise awareness, mm -hmm. to protect our children online. Mm -hmm. um, this year's theme is actually um, create, connect, and then share the respect. Right. Yeah, and then the fact that a safer internet or a better internet actually starts with you. So yes. there'll be lots of awareness ab around about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I think we've heard just about... So we hope you can join us oh, in as abs well. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. we are teaching digital skills, so um, this is very important mm -hmm. information. But uh, thank you, Angela. Uh, that was Angela Tugume from Nita Uganda, and she's been able to explain to us what uh, keeping your child safe online is all about. My name is Angela Mirembe. I was your host, and this was Browse on Kafero.tv. Thank you for watching. <laughs>